Okay, so today we're going to simply run a Facebook ad, but before we do it, there's a ton of stuff that we have to set up first. And again, I've said it many times on our past calls, this is all the back end, and this is truly where everyone drops the ball. No one sets this stuff up. And that's why when I speak to most realtors, their ads, they might have captured the ad, but that's where it stopped. They never followed through. They never had any of the backup set up or the back end set up. And, and so what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to install the pixel on the pages so so Facebook can start tracking the visit. And then we're going to also take the links and set up custom audiences so Facebook can track the visit. And then we're going to also take one of the pages, which is the, the thank you page, and we're going to um, set up what Facebook calls a custom conversion. That's letting letting Facebook know out of these two pages, you got your opt in page, which is the landing page, and then you have the thank you page. The custom conversion is, is based on the thank you page, and, it, and there's a setup to it. And that's simply just telling Facebook that when we run this ad, the most important page that we're trying to get people to is the thank you page. Right. That's what Facebook calls a custom conversion. So we're going to need the links um, to do to do all that with. So so first, let's start with let's start with the pages. So click on my pages to the left. And we're going to simply go into um, we're going to simply go into your pages. So let's find um, your landing page. We want your landing page. We're going to click on the three dots and we're going to click edit. So most of these websites, most of these landing pages, again, this is what it's all about, bro, is when people click on an ad, you're coming off of Facebook to somebody's landing page. This is the landing page. So when it comes to landing pages, there's many different softwares out there. We're using Kartra, but there's another popular one, which is ClickFunnels. All the different landing pages, all the websites are all the same. The pixel, the pixel goes on the page. And so um, on our previous calls, I had you email yourself the pixel, right? Mm -hmm. So in the future, if you ever create any other random website or whatever, you can always send that pixel to whoever's doing it and they mm -hmm. can install it on the page. And this is simply how you do it. Super simple. So when we come to the page, we're going to click on settings to the left, settings, and then tracking code. So right here, tracking code. And again, all the softwares are, are pretty much the same. There's different pieces of code that you can add to the page for tracking. Um, so if you scroll to the very, very bottom, you'll see one for Facebook. So right there, that's, that's the Facebook one. So now go ahead and click inside that box. Now we're going to simply go back to um, the events manager tab, 10, the one that's open in the top right. Click on that one. And then right here, we're going to continue to pixel setup. So click on the blue one. And then meta pixel. We're going to go meta meta pixel connect. Okay. Now we're going to install code manually. Click on that one. And then we're going to copy code. Just go ahead and X out of that done right there to the left. X out of that. Okay. Copy code. And then we're going to click on um, we're going to we're going to click on continue. So we're going to continue, hit the blue one. And then we're gonna make sure all this is turned on. Sometimes when you come here, it's off. And this is all a one-time thing. You're not gonna to have to do this part again. Um, but sometimes when you come here, the things are off. So all you do is just shade that blue, turn on automatic advanced matching, the top blue, shade that one off, shade it back on. Watch, go ahead and shade it off. So if you find the bottom not blue, we mm -hmm. need everything blue. So shade it back on and then boom, everything's blue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes down at the bottom, it's all gray. And so you wanna turn off, turn on. So just mm -hmm. like that, we're good. Hit continue. And then we'll just continue. And then the, the domain has already been verified. Yeah, we're good at the domain. So okay, continue. And then go to pixel overview. Okay, cool. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that pixel and we're going to add it to the page. So you just copied it by clicking the button. So now go to Kartra and just simply paste it in. Okay, paste it in right here. Bam, click apply and that's it. Now we're going to hit the actions in the top right, and we're going to publish live. Now we're going to do the same thing for the thank you page, right? These are your two basic pages, man. With two pages, you can create a freaking enormous business, bro. You can take over your local area with a listing funnel, which is what this is, an open house funnel, a seller guide funnel, a buyer guide funnel with two basic pages. So hit edit. All we need to do is just make sure that our pixel is on both pages. Um, and really on the call confirm page as well, but we'll get to that one too. So click on edit, and then we're going to just come in here, hit settings to the left, and then tracking code, and we're going to just simply paste it in over here as well. So we just added the pixel to the pages, right? That was that was one important step. So now click on the three dots, and what we want to do now is simply on the on the do it on we want it on we want it on on the two pages, so the landing page and the thank you page. Click three dots, 
get coder link, and then get the page link. Just copy this link and open it up in a new tab. No, not the pencil. Just copy the link. Hit the, hit the check mark. Okay, the yeah, the check mark. Yeah, just copy the link. So just right here, just copy it. Okay, cool. So as you paste that link here online for the very first time, now Facebook can 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 read the page for the first time. The pixels on there for the first time, right? So now they now they read that page for the first time. So hit enter. I, I did. So now the page was published and it's online. Now go over to the events manager. So we're going to be bouncing back and forth between these two tabs. So now refresh this page. And now this page will look a little different because now Facebook activated the pixel. Um, so now if you refresh it, the page opens up and it's a different look. So now X out of this little part right here. And so go to your bookmarks real quick. Where's your bookmarks? Let's, um, let's yeah, click on, I think it's three dots. Go to, yeah, go down bookmarks and then the business settings right click right click pixel and delete right click right click right click delete and then now just simply delete now hit the star on the top right and and bookmark this page again so hit the star and then this is pixel so delete whatever it says there pixel okay so this is your new pixel so now in the future and click on done in the future this is where your pixel will be now your pixel is always on the page so you can always go to any of your pages, get the pixel right there, copy it, put it wherever. You can always go to your email, right? You email it to yourself. You can always right. copy it there. So if you ever need to get it here, scroll down. This is where it would be. So right here where it says add events, the button add events, the drop down. Sure, my eyes are the drop down. To the yeah, right there. Add oh, sorry. So now from, from this point on, from a new website, from a new website, this is where your pixel is. So all you do is click on that. And then install code manually, copy code, and that's it. So so that's your pixel. Now you can take it wherever you want. But yeah, go to hit continue, continue, continue. Okay, now, okay, we just set up the pixel, right? We just put the pixel on, on our on our pages. Now what we want to do is we want to take the links and set up custom audiences. Okay, so Facebook can start categorizing and start segmenting the people who are landing on each page which is super important for advertising. So now we can either go to our bookmarks and go to audiences, or we can click on the three lines to the left and um, go to audiences there. Okay. Okay, so now this is one audience that we have. We just set that one up for the time being, but now it's time to create some real audiences, um, especially around the video. Now we have a video, so we're gonna we're gonna do that one as well. So create audience, click the blue one, and then um, we're gonna go down to custom audience, custom audience, and then we're gonna go website. Okay, so so this is this is this is the ninja shit, bro. This is again where most drop the ball. They don't do any of this stuff. So as we go website, click on next. We're gonna really segment what's going on. Um, X out of this part right here. Oh. So now here's where we simply segment, right? So it's gonna start with it's gonna start with the landing page. So open up the other tab at the top. You got the 8420. So these are the, the pages we're gonna work with right now. So the first one, the landing page, 8420. So now at the top, the link, you're gonna copy everything, everything you see right there. Not not the not not the question mark, but but the address. Right there, the T. You're missing the T. Yeah. Copy everything up to just homes, all the way up to homes. Right there, homes. Copy that. So this is the, the actual root domain. We don't need the HTTPS or the www. We just need we just need that part. Um, so actually, you know what? Go all the way to the www. I'm sorry. Go all the way to the www. We don't need, we don't need the HTTPS. So um, grab that link. Yeah, copy all that. The www. Dude, erase it. Just double click it. Double click it. Yeah, right there. Start from the www. Start from the www and go right. Okay, cool. Oh, we're going to go back to Facebook. So go back to the events manager, number 10, the tab that's open. And then here, we're going to simply come down events, all website visitors. Hit that drop down, all website visitors. And then come down to specific, people who visited specific. Okay. 
And then the retention, 30 days is fine. People, Facebook will just track everyone who's visited the page in the past 30 days and keep them in this audience. Um, and so go ahead and paste in the link right there at the bottom, at least one of these values, paste it in that box. Paste it in this box? Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do and hit the drop down. And hit sorry, in 30 days is sufficient? Or, you yeah. Know, yeah. Blue. Hit the blue, click the blue, drop down. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to scroll down. And again, it's all about segmenting. That's the whole thing about this is segmenting, narrowing it in and segmenting these audiences. The person who clicked, who clicked on your ad and landed on the landing page, but didn't opt in is very different than the person who clicked on your ad, landed on the, on the landing page and actually opted in. It's a different person. That's a different type of person, right? So here we're going to tell Facebook that these are, this is an audience of people who only landed on the first page they did not opt in they have yet to no no no, no. wait don't, don't name it yet they have not landed on the second page yet so to do that is you click on exclude people so exclude people and now you're going to simply hit the hit the um pixel so hit that red dot click on the drop down yeah and go to the green dot it's always that green dot always the Derek diaz realtor not the not the pixel one Right, so I don't know why they pushed us to that, but but we're good now. That's the pixel, Derek Diaz Realtor. That's your pix pixel. The events, hit that drop down and go to specific. Okay, perfect. So scroll down, thirty days. Now, now the 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 thirty max this one out at one eighty. One eighty is the max. So we just always want to exclude um, the people who landed on the on the thank you page. So now, go to the thank you page, which is the one up there. Schedule your call or whatever. Copy this link everything except for the HTTPS. So just copy everything. Yeah, perfect. Copy all that. And now we're going to simply bring that back over. So copy, bring it over there, paste it in right here. And this is going to be, so the name, you always want to get super specific. Hit the drop down, hit the blue. Always click on the blue. When you paste it in, click on the blue, but that's fine. So oh, scroll down. Oh, okay. fine. You're fine. Scroll down. So, so now the audience name, this is going to be, this is going to be the address. So put the address. So 8420 Southwest. And then this is, this is, um, landing page, landing page, landing page. And then in parenthesis, yeah, put, um, put, put dash landing page. Oh, dash. Yeah. And then, yeah, just landing page. And then in parentheses only. So these are people that only landed on the landing page. They haven't landed anywhere else, right? This is an audience that you'll always want to use to retarget, to show future ads to. Yeah. Because they've seen an ad once, they clicked, but for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Right. Show them another ad, right? So this will be an audience that you start to build and you can start leverage to, you can, you can use to start to leverage and, and, and show retargeting ads to. Um, so create audience. That's an audience right there. Okay, so now the second audience we want to create is those who click on done is those who actually landed on the thank you page. We want to create an audience of those who actually opted in. So click the blue one, custom audience, website, next. And then now um, there's the green dot, Derek D is realtor, that's your pixel, the events specific. And then here we want to change the 30 to 180. 180 is the max. So I want Facebook to keep these people in this audience as long as possible. It's 180 is the max. And, and this is your, these are leads. So get your thank you page link. I think you have, actually, I think you already have it pasted or copied, but see if you could, yeah, just paste it in right there. That's the thank you page. So anyone that landed here, hit the blue. Anyone who landed here is a lead. So scroll down, put the address, and this is leads. In parentheses, put leads. So audience <laughs> name, um, yeah, it could be the address. And then, and then in parentheses, leads perfect that's an audience and this will be an audience that you'll always exclude so as you run future ads on listings or even on open houses you'll want to exclude this audience from seeing it these are people who've already opted in so therefore you yeah, already, already got their email and all that right yeah so if anything i don't need to send an ad to them i could i i could create audience right right i could but why spend the money when I could just email them the right. same the same video or the same ad or whatever? I could just email it to them. Click the blue one. So so create audience. So that's that's an audience of those of, of leads. Now the last audience we want to set up create audience. Um, same thing. Go through custom audience website. 
The last audience in this in this case we want to set up is um, those who actually scheduled an appointment. So click on a, on specific, and then and then appointment thirty go to one eighty. Let's keep these people in there for the max one eighty, and now we'll just get the link from the call confirm page, and paste it in down here. So call confirm, um, grab this link, and we'll just paste it in. We did. We got the call confirmed one right. So go ahead and paste that in, and then now. We're just segmenting those who actually set scheduled an appointment, right? So scroll down, and this could be just simply appointments scheduled. So I, appointments. I don't put the address. No, because this is your general. Oh, this is general page. So anyone that's ever scheduled an appointment will be in this audience. So scheduled appointments, you could put scheduled appointments and create audience. So so that was that that's that's audiences, man. That's audiences, and that's so 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 important. Now. Now, as we now, that, and that's audiences on websites, right? On website links, create audience, hit the blue one. And so now that's on links. That's how you do it on any link. Okay. The only other audiences that you'll be really setting up, um, hopefully a ton in the future as we move forward is video, right? You want to start tracking those who watch the video, right? So now what we, what we got to do is we got to get that video up on the Facebook business page. So where is that video? So now all we're going to do is upload the video on the business page first, right? And then we go back and create the audience and set the ad. So now you could just take whatever, like whatever. Oh, you mean text? Oh, okay. Um, listing. Uh, damn, I had one post. I can copy shit. Oh, yeah, open up another tab. Open up another tab. Go to, go to that post. Another video. I mean, that other one. I don't need that. Yeah. See, so now, now it's it's no longer just call or text me. You could you could put you could leave that. I mean, you could you can leave it. You could put call call text or click the link below for all the details. And then you can still put your phone number. Um, call text. Call text or click yeah or click learn more below for all the details. Yeah. Put yeah. Click learn more below for all the details. I well, rather. This part right here, you want to get the text right. Yeah, yeah. You post it yeah, because yeah. as we go and run the ad, you can no longer change it. Right. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Check yeah, my notes. And making sure that this part is on point, um, because as we go in and, and set up the ad, then yeah, it, everything's final. Call, text me at. Yeah, perfect. Actually, no. Bring that back. No space there. This the dash is between the two five one or after the one two five one dash. Right. So put the parentheses. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Put the parentheses. Yeah, so, and then just That's put the dash true. after the, the 251. Yeah. Oh, now we're good. Go ahead and publish or hit the post. So that's it. <laughs> that's it, man. Post it, and we're good. So you're always going to post the ad. That is the ad, right? So you're always going to put it on the business page first, and then we come back and, and run the ad. And depending on how long the video is, sometimes it could take it could take a few minutes before it, it shows up here, sure. but we still have another important step to do. So we, we it's all good we got some time so leave this here we'll we'll come back to this part um go ahead and go back to let's go to your 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 thank you page so the tab up there schedule your call open up that tab copy this link this is the thank you page right so as as you start copy to thank you said copy that link this is the thank you page this is your custom conversion this is the page that we're telling facebook that this is the most important page that we're trying to get people to the thank you page right so so they're going to know about the first page, click learn more. It's going to go to the landing page, but out of the two pages, this is the most important, right? right. So this is our custom conversion. So let's go to Facebook, the at the, the number 10 at the top, the at uh, events manager, number 10. Yeah. So click on that one. And then now click on the three lines to the left. Um, and let's, um, and let's um, go to, let's go to, um, oh, my, my mind is blank. Let's go to events manager, <laughs> events manager. And one thing that that we haven't done, bro, is we haven't integrated the domain. I think we did that on on, I think we did that on on America's page, which we'll find out right now. But yeah, see the domain, the domain. Okay, that's what we need to do. So click on the three lines. So you you have to let Facebook know which domain you're sending traffic to. Click on um, um business settings. Yeah, we did this on America's account, but I don't think we did it on yours. So um right here the to the left scroll down and we're going to go to down to um, brand safety brand safety and then click on domain so brand safety up domains 
this one right here, this is, yeah, see, this is Derek Diaz Realtor. Um, and it's the other domain that we're going to, that we're going to be using. Okay, so, yeah, so we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to go to GoDaddy. So what we need to do is we need to um, simply let GoDaddy know about this, or we need to let Karcher know um, about this domain. So hit Derek in the top right. This is integrating your domain with, it's already integrated with Facebook. Now we got to just, again, integrate it with Kartra. Um, so go to my products and we're going to go to that domain. There's the domain. All you're going to now do is click on um, DNS. So click on DNS to the right. Okay, perfect. So now all we need to do now is simply go back to Kartra. So we're going to go to the Kartra tab at the top, Kartra. No, those are your pages. Go to go, go to Kartra, the account Kartra. And then over here, click on close. And then in the top right, you're going to simply hit your drop down. Go to the drop down, top right. Top right. Hit that drop down, the profile picture in the top right. Oh, okay. And then come down to custom domains. So this is how you integrate the domain. No matter what software you're using, this is the most important. A lot of times, realtors will have websites from their company, from their broker, and and, and you can't change that domain. Like if you're with Keller Williams, it'd be DerekDiaz.kw.com, right? It's it's your mm -hmm. it's your name in there, but that's not your custom domain, right? Right. So that's the biggest problem with now with Facebook ads is that if you're running ads, you got to be, and this is, applies for Instagram as well. If you're running ads to a website, that domain needs to be yours. So when you're choosing a software provider, uh, the, the software provider needs, you need to be able to change the domain, right? Just like that other software that you guys were using, you couldn't change that domain. That was the problem, right? So here we're going to add this second domain. So click on the green one um, plus, and then simply type in only the main domain. And we're going to type in your domain right here. So type, type that one in there. So now your pages, this is going to be the domain for your pages. So go ahead and put in that domain right there, Derek Diaz Realtor. Okay, perfect. So dot com and then click on next. Okay, perfect. So now um, click on yes. Actually, no, I'm so sorry. Click on, um, yeah, you click the yes, but don't click next yet. So number two, now we need that bold. You see abrmiami.carter.com. Take that, that bold dot com right there. Yeah, number two, right there. Copy that, not the period. I think you got the period. So, so just copy the, just, just the .com. And now we're going to bring that over to GoDaddy. So open up that one and then now scroll down. And all we're going to do is change out the C name. So right here, the C name to the very, very right, hit that pencil. This one? The C name, the first one up. So right there, click on the pencil. And then now the value, all we're changing out is the value. Get rid of that value and paste in the new one. Okay, perfect. And then hit save. And that's that. So that again, that applies to any software. Most of the software is no go, go back up and hit save. So no matter what software you scroll down, bro. Save. So no matter what software you, you're using, it's all the same thing. You got to integrate the domain with the software. Hit save. Bro, I, I I'm my my eyes right now. I where, where the hell is save, bro? On the left, bro, on the black, the black. Oh. <laughs> Um, so, so hit save and then and then now we're good we're good here so success here now we got to just give give it a give it a few minutes for for Kartra but um we're still good to go so now go back to um go back to the business manager or to the to the yeah go to that events manager so that domain is is now verified um click on click on add assets let's see if there's any add if any assets we need to add add assets and so now just click on classic pages and I think your page should already be there Classic pages to the left. Okay, check the circle and then add. So we're just tying the, the the domain to the to the page as well to the business page. Okay, so we're good there. So now now we're gonna set up the custom conversion, um, and we'll give Kartra a few a few minutes, but we should be we should be good, we should be good by the time we we get there. So click on the three lines um, in the top left and go to Events Manager. So this is setting up the custom conversion. This is a full tutorial, bro. Like this is a yeah. lot. Of but yeah, it's, it's, and like I said, all I can tell you is uh, the added value of, of not just, you know, of having the person kind of you know walk through this shit out through with you. It just shows your your braining, your your knowledge, your passion behind it, the way you don't cut corners, 
um it leaves somebody like me that i know okay this guy turned over every freaking rock in this process yeah. process so and without that i would never really know you yeah. know yeah you're, yeah you're right bro. I, for all I know you could have sub it to another you know right. uh, maybe you're right. just uh, the speaker on behalf of whoever the you know the genius behind the but but you're all that and you're all that in a bag of chips bro <laughs> you too bro you too man hit the, so hover over the triangle to the left so that triangle hover over that and we're going to go to custom conversions custom conversions and right here this was a bookmark so you see the 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 blue star yes hit that blue star we're going to remove it because we're going to rebookmark it so hit the star remove remove and then now we're going to create custom conversion so click on create custom conversion the blue button no 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 remove remove uh, remove custom. hit the blue button right here create custom conversion okay so now now we're going off of that pixel right so remember that's the pixel derek diaz realtor it's not derek diaz's realtor pixel right that other one says the word pixel it's not that one it's this one that's the green dot so now you're going to name it so this is going to be I normally name this custom conversion is remember it's the thank you page. So what did we name the thank you page? What did we name the custom audience of the thank you page? Right. Do you remember what did we name that one? It was oh, the what do we name it? Um it was the address and leads. The address and leads. So name it the same. So put the address there at the top. And every time, yeah, every time you create a new funnel, um, which is the two pages, landing page, thank you page. For a different listing or a different open house, this custom conversion needs to be set up. So this is the part. This is this this video right here, bro, was just jam packed with with all the knowledge you're gonna need. Really, this this one video we're putting it all in this one video. So so that's the custom conversion, right? So now um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the blue, select your own category. So right there, select your own category, down, <clears throat> there in blue, and then the drop down recommended. Click on that and come down to lead. These are all the different custom conversions that one can create. We just need lead. So click on lead and then now get the link for the thank you page. So open up the schedule, your page or whatever it is, schedule your call. Yeah, so grab this link, copy that. And this is the custom conversion. So um, yeah, paste it in there. Okay, perfect. And then create. Okay, so now what we got to do real quick is let's go and before we do this part, go back to Kartra and let's just see if that domain is integrated. So um, click on next. And then here, the in, the index page and the 404, it's going to be the same. So external URL, hit that drop down and go to Kartra page, external URL, Kartra page, select site, no site, no site, and then the Kartra page. Go ahead and put the, the opt-in, the landing page. So hit that drop down, go to your la your landing page, and then the same for the bottom. So now that integrate that domain is integrated, that second domain. It's going to say processing for the next few minutes. Um, so we may we may need to wait till this is connected, but let's 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 see. Go back to the events manager and then just um go ahead and go to no 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 number one, bro. Number one, go to settings. So now we got to just tie it together. So um, right here, add assets, click on that one, and then go ahead and tie it to the add account. So we're simply um, taking the custom conversion and tying it to the add account. Um, done. So now X out of this tab, we don't need this tab anymore. So X out of this tab, yep, X out of that one. So now number two, go to web configuration. And I think I think we need the Kartra one to link first before we can do this, but let's let's see. Um, 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 um. Okay, so 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 the, the top one, Derek Diaz Realtor, click on that one. And then manage events, edit, and then add event, the green one. And then hit the drop down to the left, choose a pixel, come down to custom conversion, and then choose an event. And it's that one right there. That's the custom conversion. That's the one you just created, right? Dash leads. You just created that. Mm -hmm. So click apply, the blue one. And then yes, I confirm. Apply. And we're and we should be good. Did you did it hit apply? Because I don't know the thing kind of do it again. Perfect. You're good. Okay, so click okay. Okay. Right, one second. My daughter's calling me one second, yeah. bro. No, you're good.
good. We're good to go, bro. So that right there, man, that's all the freaking. Stuff. <laughs> what, do we do? what did we do? We added the pixel on the pages. We inter integrated the domain. So now we have a custom domain for our pages. We took the links of the custom domain and we set up custom audiences. We then also took the thank you page and set up the custom conversion, right? And then we also now go back to your Facebook to 20 plus, go to your Facebook or it, yeah, close out one of those 20. Yeah, close out one of them, which means one of them. Go to that one, refresh this page and let's just see if the video. So then we also put the video on the business page. There it is there. Mm -hmm. Right there, it is. There, click on it. Let's edit it real quick. Click on it. We put the pit, we put the video on the business hey guys, page. Thank you for checking out this video. Yeah. Your name is Derek, pause America's best. Uh, are you supposed, are you, am I they supposed to be hearing you? Bro? Pause yeah, pause it. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Listings, <laughs> here and yeah, right. pause it. So now we're ready to run the ad. So that's all the back end, bro. That 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 puts yeah. you in, in 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 position to freaking win for success. So now, as you run ads, shit's going to be tracked. Now, again, anytime you create a new page, then yeah, you'd want to go and set up a new custom audience, set up a new, a new, a new, <laughs> but, but that's what I'm here for, man. So from this point, I hear that, I hear that, right? That's it. right? Hear. So, so I'm going to help you. I'm going to walk you through this until you can do this shit in your sleep. Which is <laughs> All right. So, bro. I'm a promise. Like, I'll try not to let you down three yeah, years yeah. later when we're still yeah. making ads. Hopefully we're making millions of dollars yeah. or whatever, bro. Yeah. Well, I don't even need a lot to be honest with you, bro. I just want some consistency just to, right. to reach Click on the, the three lines, the three dots. I mean, the three dots to the right. And let's just edit this real quick. And all I want to do real quick is, is, is edit the thumbnail. So video options. And then as you come in here, you always, you want to put a title. Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is Derek with America's best. Re so the video title, the video title is what shows in the bottom left-hand corner of a video when it's in the newsfeed. So when it's in the newsfeed, there's text on the bottom left of that video. Mm -hmm. So normally that's a, you want to put there a call to action click, click, learn more for all the details. And I know we put that at the top, but that's fine. And, and not all print, not, not all cap, not all cap. Click, click, learn more for, for the details or click, learn more for all the details or click, learn more for more details or something like that, whatever. Click, learn more for, for all the details or whatever, something like that. Click, learn more for all the details. I got it. So, what we want to change them now, scroll down and, and go choose suggested. See if we can go choose suggested and then scroll down that one right there. That's a good one. Perfect. That's a good one. So, so leave that one and just click save. That way when they see the video, right. When they're scrolling, boom, they just see you right there. Perfect. Perfect. Safe, safe. Okay. We're good. Safe. Now we're good to go, bro. So now let's just set up this ad real quick. So now it's game time. So events manager, we'll go back to the events manager. We're fine. This can stay here. Now we're going to click three lines in the top left and go to the ads manager. Now everything is legit, bro. The the domain, the pixel, um, the custom audiences, the custom conversions, the post on the business page, everything is is in order. So now, what we're gonna do? Create button. Oh, the green here, create campaign. Yeah, you can you can go there. Yeah, click create camp campaign, and then right here we're going conversions. We're going conversions. Okay, so scroll. Um, yep, continue. And then now, as we come in. Um, to the setup. This is this is a three-step setup. Three simple steps. Um, you have the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. These are the three steps to an ad. It's it's super basic. So in step one, what did we just do? We just chose the objective. The objective was conversions, right? Conversions is getting people to opt in. That's that objective. Conversions, getting getting leads, capturing leads, or even making sales if you're selling stuff online. It's conversions. And so here. Right. What we want to do is we want to give it a proper title. So new conversions campaigns right in the middle. Delete that. Not right there to the right. Just the title to the right, right there at the top. So delete this part and just and just name it what it is. 8420 video. 8420. Um, yeah, 8420 Southwest. And then and then and then um you could put um you could put not in parentheses because I'm gonna have you put something else in parentheses, but just put dash video so we know. Right when we look at the dashboard, we know exactly what that is. That's a video. And then in parentheses, conversions. In parentheses, conversions. Okay. And then and then now categories. So you're going to always, always, always hit the categories and come down to housing. 
You always need to go housing. Mm -hmm. If you don't go housing and you're in real estate, or if you're in any of those other categories and you don't choose it, you'll your ad gets rejected. And it's not a bad, bad thing. You just got to come in. Facebook will tell you, hey, you didn't check the box. And right. no big deal. But, that even happens with a regular post sometimes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you, you you don't see housing normally in the regular yeah, post. That's, that's always go housing. So hit next. That's step one. That's the campaign level. We chose the objective. We chose housing. That's it. Now we come to the second step. And again, this is just like the like ad. But unlike the like ad where we went broad, here we're going straight to the address. We're going straight and targeting that local area. So here we want um, website and then click inside the, the, the pixel. Click inside that little empty box and go with your pixel. There's your pixel, Derek Diaz Realtor. Now, from this point on, that should already be there by default. But if it's not like it's not right now, just click the box and find your pixel. That's it. That's why you always want to know. You always want to remember what you name shit. That's why in the very, very beginning right. of us setting up your business manager, I wanted you to name this, name everything the same thing. Right. Right. Derek Diaz Realtor, everything the same thing. So it's not hard for us to find which one is which. Right. So conversion event, click that, click inside there. Are you looking for the one in parentheses? That's the conversion, the custom conversion that we just set up. So again, this is just telling Facebook which page is the most important. It's the thank you page. It's the custom conversion. When we get to the next step, that's where we tell them about the learn more button and we tell them about the landing page on the next step. But right here, this is step two. Okay, so that's important right there. Now we come out of the budget, a budget, daily budget, 10 bucks a day, 15 bucks a day. We want to run this really for a good, you want to run it really for, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's a, everyone's budget's different, but, but in I this, mean, I, I, uh, what, what are you suggesting a month? Well, well, yes and no until it's under contract, obviously, but, but really a good, a good, a good 15 days for right now. Just, so that's either at 10 bucks a day for 15 days yeah, or 15 bucks a day. I mean, let's see what this 10 bucks does. Yes. Yeah, so, so again, in the future, bro, in the future, right. And here's what I want you to plan out. When you sell this property, when you sell this freaking property, bro, that's a pretty decent ass commission, yeah, right? When you sell that property, bro, I want you to freaking take 5%, 5% of that. Yes, man, I do have to do that. 5% of that commission, bro. 5% of that commission. For marketing. And that's your Facebook advertising budget. I need to do that for monthly. Sure. Monthly, right. monthly. That's your that's your Facebook advertising budget for the month. I will, brother. I right. Will. So 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 at that and 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 that's not even and and to tell you the truth, bro. Because let's keep it real. Like let's talk real numbers. What's what's the minimum commission on this property? Yeah, two point five. Yeah, two point five percent of um. I don't know, one point five. Let's say it dropped to one point five and sold it at that price. So so one point five times two point five. 2.5% is a... Yeah, bro. So that's a $37,000 commission. Yes, sir. So it's like, dude, 5%, that's way even high. If I just took, if I took, if I took times 1%, actually, no, that's way too low. So 37, 37,000, let's say, for example, times, times, times 5%, that's 1,800, bro. Yeah, it, no, 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 no doubt, no doubt. But, but, but that's, even, that's even higher. If I went, if I went 4%, 37,000 times 4%, times 4%, that's 1480, bro. 1400. 1400 divided by 30 days, that's when I'm at a I'm at a daily budget of $49 a day. If you were running $49 a day on a Facebook ad, bro, you would dominate Miami. Wow. Everyone in that freaking city will know who the hell you are at $49 wow. a day. And that's high. That's really high. You don't even need to go that high, really. If you're at 20 bucks a day, 25 bucks a day, you could put a good dent in that city. And then and then people will start. That's why video is everything. Because as you put out video, thousands of people are seeing your face. Right, 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 right. Like that's, right. that's different, bro. Right. So so all that's I'm right. saying to do that, really, yeah, 10 bucks a day, that's okay. 15 bucks a day is better, obviously, 20 bucks a day. But even just doing basic math on a commission like that. 4%. If I took 4% aside of 37 grand For and sure. dedicated it to Facebook ads, I'd freaking dominate. No, I, I didn't do that because then I don't have to worry about moving monies and this. Or that yeah, money yeah. just generates, yeah. you know, no, no doubt, man. That's yeah. the whole goal to all this is to be better and be better and so, keep, you know, be better. And so, on, on, uh, again, when it, when we just come down to numbers, and because it's a, a, a question that, that everyone has, you know, what's a good budget? What do I yeah, spend on my is. Facebook ads? That is true. And it's like, dude, like, really, you got to really keep it real. It's like, shit, man, if I'm trying to sell a million dollar property and all I'm going to do is spend a hundred bucks on marketing, 
bro, if I was the owner of this property and you told me that you're going to yeah. just <laughs> market, I'd fire you. Yeah, that guy is my brother. But I, yeah, he's your brother, right? <laughs> but no, but trust real. me, that that's why I've done multiple uh, open, you know, I've done any yeah. uh, sweat equity shit, you know, yeah, that, yeah, that I've yeah. done just to show that because, I, you know, psychologically, yeah. yes, he's family, but but still, yeah. you know, I, I yeah. you know, I think but, like but, buyer, the client. Right? Yeah. So, so just for future marketing, like, 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 like just keeping it real, like, like, and you guys are out there in Miami selling freaking expensive ass homes, put the numbers together, right? So it's like, yeah. like, shit, like, I need to be spending, why wouldn't I? And that's why, that's why I talk crap a lot to my clients. I'm like, dude, you're making so much per deal. How can we not spend X amount? Right. Right. right? Like, it's like, shit, man. Like, that's why, like, I'm thinking about getting my license and just taking over San Diego because no, everyone's, everyone's freaking half assing it. No, no, everyone, true. Everyone that. out there's no. half assing it. Like, yeah, like, and then when you see those that are really killing it, it and you wonder how is it, it it's all they're, they're checking off all the boxes, you know what I mean? Uh, on, yeah. on, on, you know, and, and they're yeah. being consistent with it on top of that, so yeah. uh, you so, know, and that's what stands out, though. Yeah, so as we move forward, bro, first, first time advertising on Facebook, first time with this listing at, at that at that at that price point. So let, let we're gonna scale up and we're gonna start small and we're gonna scale up. We will. But, but as I'm saying, like really to tell you the truth, to, to really, really, really put numbers in perspective, to take over a city, to take over Miami, to take over San Diego, it would take maybe maybe 25 bucks a day, maybe 30 bucks a day, and I would take over. I would take over. Wow. wow. And, and it's so, nothing. So really. we're not, exactly, bro. That's my point. No, no, it's not, no, no, it's not exactly. When you look at it, when you, when you when look you, at it, right? When you see the value of what we're doing here now, I can see where before David Cantero, the idea of me spending three hundred bucks and not knowing where that money's really going, and and you know, really yeah. most of it for somebody like myself mm -hmm. is just that fear that man, I'm just getting and, ju you know juiced here. And, but I and, you know, and another another way, another thing that you got to also consider and, and take into account is the fact that yes, everyone's looking for a lead, right? At the at the end of the day we need a lead at the end of the day. I need someone on the phone, right? At the end of the day, mm -hmm. but when it comes to this type of marketing, social media, marketing, Facebook, advertising, Instagram, advertising, now putting this video out when it comes down to it, it's like, man, okay. The lead is one thing, but the fact that I'm now going to get thousands of people in my local area to actually see a video of me. Yeah. The branding of it. Yeah. No doubt, bro. There's value to that. Absolutely. I don't know how to exactly calculate that to you, but there is value to that. Absolutely. Where else can I put a video to my local audience and get people to see it? Where else? What other platform? What other? I can't hit up Channel Seven News and be like, yeah, "Hey, no, I pay commercials." I and so. <laughs> Bro, how much would that commercial cost me? Yeah, even oh, to put your freaking mug on a billboard. Yeah, how much did that yeah. cost me? Yeah, yeah, a freaking, a freaking a parking bench or whatever. A parking <laughs> bench, bro. A bus bench. How much would that cost me? Yeah, no, no, and and, 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 and you're not, and you're not tracking shit, <laughs> right? And you're not tracking any of that. You're right, bro. You couldn't have said it better. You're not tracking any of that shit. Right. So it's like right here, everyone and their mother is on Facebook. My video is going to show up in the newsfeed of people that live down the street. It's like holy shit, man! I would go all in if I were no, you. No, no doubt, no doubt. And, and in, I will bro. be that guy, bro. I will be that guy because I'll be there. I will be all. Uh, I will be that guy. And starting with this, uh, like you said, right? This sale here, there will happen. So, so here, will here's what I want you to do. So let's complete this. So start date August. Let's go the next day. It's always the next day. All right, six uh, in the morning. Yeah, go go the twenty seventh. And actually, because we're late in the afternoon already, push it out to nine. Push it out to nine a.m. So, so 9 a.m. and then end date, we'll push it out 15 days. Just let it end. And sometimes we may need to end it sooner, but but 15 days is a, is a good, at least a good benchmark to at least set the calendar. So 9 a.m. and then end date from the 27th to, to 15 days from now. So whatever. Yeah, two weeks. Perfect. 9 a.m. Perfect. Leave it as is. We're good. We're good. We're good. So yeah. scroll down. And now the audience, it just here you could target any different area you can target just that area um a lot of times what would be good is to put the actual address in and just target 15 miles or 30 miles or here put the address miles. here no so get away from there oh. um so scroll down and we need um locations so we can go hit the drop down people living in or recently in so there there is a difference between these four hit the drop down so we got people living in or recently in 
people living in, people recently in, people traveling, mm. right? So, so there's there's a, there's a difference in all four, right? So, so which one applies? Um, would it be people living in or recently in? Would that be a better a better option? Um, or is it people living traveling in? to this location? People living in or recently in this location. Yeah, right? yeah, maybe that one might be the best. Um, I mean, because I I do a lot. I just. I, I was, I'm assu- you know, I'm assuming we're going to get to that too. One of the audiences is that I know that there are a lot of freaking snowbirds, you know what I mean? That, that, mm-hmm. um, so this doesn't have to be a home that to live in all year long. I right. Yeah. That. Yeah. And my video says vacation, you know, either it's your home or, so, I mean, there's that audience, which is obviously different than, than those that live here that might want to upgrade their lifestyle and ready for something you know, I have doctors. I, I'm right next to, you know, these are other, I, I, the, the the literally next to the house is, is, is one of the prestigious, um, you know, main hospitals in Miami Baptist hospital. And, 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 and literally this luxury home is, is like, you know, on the other side of the Avenue mm-hmm. there. So, uh, you know, I don't know, medical professionals, people that, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, so uh, okay. I don't know how to, how do we get to, can we get that specific in these things? Like, Right yeah, but, well, we're just talking location. I'm not talking okay. type of person. I'm just talking. But I'm about- saying, are you able to get to that deep to like, if you really want to just target income yeah. people or, you know, you can. Yeah, get- you can. You can. But when you're targeting a local area, just go with the area. Just go with the location. That's it. Don't don't narrow it in from there. You're already narrowing it in, in enough by just choosing a location. Okay. When you're choosing, when you're targeting and running ads to the country, then yeah, narrow it in with keywords, only target, target doctors, only target income level when I'm targeting the entire country. I see. But I but see. here it's a small area. It's my right, area. Right, 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 right. So, I see. so okay. go so go people recently in, maybe people recently in this location would, would fit fit your criteria. People recently in this location. So if they live there, they're recently in. If they travel through, they're recently in. If they just go oh, in, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so cool. so United States, hover over United States, X that out to the right, X that out, and put in the address. I mean won't say Miami, right? I don't know if it'll say Miami. Let me finish. Yeah, is that that's is that it, Kendall? Well, it is Kendall. For, okay, but I, that's, I that's the one. That's the one. Is that it would be the one? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and click on that one. Always okay, go with the drop down. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then here you can go. Fifteen miles is the minimum, and you can expand that if you wanted to. So you can go twenty miles, twenty-five miles, wherever. So if but so, where whoever you expand this, just the fifteen miles. Click on the drop down. Fifteen miles at the top. Fifteen. I got out. Oh, here. So just type in whatever number and then and then hit enter. Mm, I mean, does it does it affect does it affect if you go too much mileage? Right? No, sure. no, no. I don't. Not at all. But but again, we're working with ten dollars a day, so it ain't right. that ain't shit. So right. So so it will try to reach as much as possible, but it's not gonna it's not gonna cover everything based on the dollar based on the right. dollar. Um, but that's fine. So scroll down, scroll down. I really want you to just get the hang of it and, and, and get get acclimated to what we're doing here. And then and then as you fill up, then you'll start start yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Numbers. So scroll down, scroll down. We're good here. We're good here. Um go I'm just saying that this part of town here, I'm sorry, really there's <laughs> that's the effort grade. So I don't know if I have to anyways, go ahead. That's fine. Well, so yeah, so if, if it's not that far, then take the mileage down. Go yeah, I'm just saying thinking now that I'm looking at the map. Because we don't need any of this. We don't need any of this advantage. We want to take it out of advantage, hit manual placement. And then we want to uncheck Instagram, uncheck messenger, uncheck audience network. Um, and then scroll down. You know, these ads, this won't go to Instagram. It's just yeah, so go ahead and leave it on Instagram. Go ahead and leave it on Instagram. Go ahead and check that box. Normally with Instagram, the 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 um the video needs to be shorter and the video oh, needs true, to be true. vertical, but but leave it checked. So now scroll down. We're gonna we're gonna leave. Right here, go up a little bit. We're gonna leave the Facebook feed, leave the the Instagram feed, leave the marketplace, uncheck everything else. So all the way down, uncheck, uncheck, uncheck everything. That's it. So now step two, or that was step two, right? So what did we do in step two? We chose the budget. We chose the targeting. I'm, I'm so sorry. One one second. Does this? If I can go back, that that if that tells you the amount of people. That's what the value of ten dollars, where it said. That's an estimate. Showed you the reach, the estimate. Yeah, that's the estimate. Don't even worry about those numbers. Okay. But that's that's just an estimate. Don't don't even worry about the numbers. Okay. Um. So now here again, what did we do in the second step? We chose the budget. We chose the targeting. We chose the placement. We chose the custom conversion. We chose the pixel. That's step two. Okay. This is step three. So now here we're gonna make sure that our Instagram account is is set up there. Again, the video might not run there, but go ahead and connect the Instagram account. Hit the drop down, and choose your account. 
So there's your account. And then, so now scroll down and we want add setup, click on create ad. We're going to go use existing post. So create ad up, create ad, hit the drop down, use existing post, and then select post. And let's see if that video is there. So we'll see it right here. There's your video. So click it and then hit continue. Perfect. Now we're going to scroll down and make sure that the tracking is partially muted due to the copyright match. Is there a copyright match? You're okay, so you're muted due to a copyright match. I don't know. Does my daughter have put some music in the background. Yeah, none of the, you don't need any of that editing, bro. No, like, no, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, wasn't but, specific. But that, it should it should still be okay, but it just says you're it just says partially muted, and that's fine. So that's fine. So so um yeah, because the only thing is, there's no name other than the video. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, scroll, scroll down. down. So add button, add button up, add button right here, add button, and this is where your learn more <clears> button goes. <throat> so now grab the link for your thank you or for your landing page, which is at the top, eighty four twenty. Grab that link, copy the whole link. You want the whole thing? Double click, copy the whole thing, and then paste it in at the at, over there in the learn more, and then update post. And we're good, bro. So update post, scroll down, the tracking, everything is there. There's the pixel, there's the dot com, or there's the dot com. There, yeah, there's the pixel 9470. Okay, cool. Publish, and we're good. So here, when it gets stuck like that, because I see that happen often, when it gets stuck like that, publishing one of three, this is so important. It's it's stuck in the blue right there, right? So now just X on the top left, just hit the little X, yeah, right there, and then just push it through over here. So refresh this page, actually. Actually, you know what? No, go ahead. Actually, hit cancel. Hit cancel. Hit cancel. Open up a new cancel. Cancel. Click cancel. Yeah, no, I just couldn't see it. Open up a new tab. Go back to the ads manager, and we'll push it through over there. Now, now you'll just see the blue button in the top right. Push it through right there. So click that blue button. This one here. Yep. Push it through right there. So publish, and then now the bottom right that should turn green. You know We're your good. shit, bro. You know your freaking shit. That's it, bro. We're good. So so now here's – yeah, so so we're good. So shit, all, the last thing is just adding the video to the thank you page, which we'll do right now. But right there, bro, that was a jam-packed call. We added the pixel. <laughs> we created the custom audiences. We integrated the domain with, with your landing page software. We set up the custom conversion. We ran a conversion ad. We posted the video on the business page. That was a jam pack call. That right there, bro. This one video alone, you can you can take this information and create any funnel and set up any ad around any lead funnel from this point on. Open house, more listings. It's all the same shit, same process, same steps. Right. Um, everything's in this one call. Yeah, so, because re it just becomes repetitive, and that's it. Yeah. So so um, refresh this page real quick. <clears throat> Let's refresh this page, and we should see the ad pull up right here. There's the new one. So, so these are the three steps we, we went through. We went through the campaign, which we named, which we did conversions, right? Click on the middle tab, the ad sets. See how, the reason why naming it, titling it is so important. So I can just glance at it. I can just look at the damn title and know what ad that is. Right. Right. The ad set. We didn't name that one, but, but that, but yeah, let's go to name that. Hit the pencil, click the pencil. No, oh, no. Two. Can I X this? Yeah. X out and just, just rename, just hit the pencil right there. Yeah. And and so what do we, so all we want to do is, is a brief description of what we did in that step. It's not 84. Actually, you could do 8420, but but it's also conversion. Description. No, it's not conversions. We didn't do conversions on this step. We did conversion on the first step. Mm. Here, what did we do here? We went budget. Oh, the budget, the budget. We went, we went um yeah, so yeah. Go ahead and put 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 8420 Southwest or whatever, and then just put ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollars a day. Ten dollars a day, um, 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 ten dollars a day, um, and then we did we did the we did and then the targeting, which was which was um yeah ten dollars a day and then and then the targeting which was which was around the address really so you don't got to do that so just ten dollars a day yeah that's fine and then publish the the publish in the bottom right publish okay and then now the third the third tab to the right adds to the right the third tab click on that one and then name this one as well so hit the pencil and just and this is just really just this is just video video i mean 8420 video southwest video that's it okay cool so publish okay you're good 
You're good, bro. So that will go live tomorrow. Ten, you'll see how far ten dollars a day gets us. But as we move forward and and really start to close deals, we'll scale up from there. And yeah. and 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 that's that's how you do the damn thing, man. In twenty twenty two. Oh, because I, mean, I I'm gonna do an open house. Uh, you know, this this is just this one video. So um, like I wanna. Actually, yeah. you know what? We didn't create the audience. No. We didn't create the audience around the video. Hit the three lines. Hit the three lines. Go back to audiences real quick. This will take one second. Three lines. Go to audiences. This is what we didn't do yet. Is we didn't create the custom audience around the video. Okay, so creating the audiences around the around the mm -hmm. website, around the pages, around the links. That's one thing. Creating audiences around your videos is another. So hit the blue button. Create odd or custom audience, and then we're doing video. Video. This is the most important video. We got to track those who watch a percentage of this video, right? Hit next, and then choose engagement. Choose type. Hit the drop down. This is the timestamps, so I can track everyone who watched it for three no, seconds, no, no, for ten seconds, for fifteen seconds. How long is the video? I, I, I edited it three minutes and changed, bro. Okay, so maybe maybe base it off of twenty five percent, twenty five percent, and then hit choose videos in the top right. Choose videos, and then choose that video. So um, get it out of that Facebook page to the right. Choose the other page. No, 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 no. Get it out oh, of that no, Facebook no, page. Yeah, I don't know why. Come down to your page, and then um, and then yeah. So choose your page, and then you'll see your video right over here. Um, yeah, it's that one right there. The thumbnail hasn't updated, but it will. And then confirm. Okay, and then and then give it a name. And this is and then the retention retention bring that down. We don't. That's too too many days. Three sixty five. Bring that down to bring that down to, maybe bring it down to forty five days. Those who watch this video in the in, the, in a forty day period, forty five day period will be in this audience. Mm -hmm. So so and then, and again so and then name the audience. Name the audience. This is eighty four twenty um video, eighty four twenty Southwest or whatever. Um, video and then in parentheses 25 percent that's that so so moving forward moving forward 25 percent create audience moving forward you'll always want to retarget those who landed on the opt-in page hit done hit the little arrow in the in the little drop down the top right get rid of this yeah collapse yeah get rid of this part so from this point on ad number two i should say this is ad number one ad number two it's always good to retarget those who watched 25% of that one. 25% of that one. It's yeah. always good to retarget those who landed right. on the landing page only. Right? Right. And then on ad number two, it's always good to exclude leads. Right. People, that, are, that, people that opted in. That already opted in. The way you do that is you do it through the second step, which is the ad set level, which again, man, I'll be walking you through your next few ads. So don't worry about trying to master this now, but, but just for the video purpose and future, future watching of it, that's what you want to do is, is exclude the leads, exclude right. the leads, include those audiences. And that's done on the second level, which is the ad set level. So that's that bro. Any questions on any of that shit? <laughs> All right, let's go lot. back to <laughs> let me go back to step one. Nah, bro, listen, bro. Again, um, this here for those that care, you, and you can't, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, have you heard the saying that you know you people won't care until you show how much you care for them type of thing, mm -hmm. and and you're all about that, bro. You know what I mean? The the value that you add to the way you do it. I, I, I don't it. think any. I don't think any of these other. I mean, you know, the other people, the other tutorials and stuff that I was seeing on open on, on which one on YouTube and stuff. Um, I didn't feel it with them, bro. And and yeah, for bro. whatever reason, bro, with a couple words that I heard in you and the way you talked a little bit, you know, street, you know, not street, but you know, just down to earth, I should say. Um, it just um. It, such a great job, bro. And, and 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 yes, I think people gotta sit there and hear this shit out and walk it through. The more I know now, it, because that's the only way that yes, bro. truly will see the value of whether it's fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred, or whatever it is that you do, or break it down in four installments. You know, um, that that's um that impossible that they'll see that value without sitting down and mm -hmm. seeing exactly the attention to detail. And the, and the and and what you share, the knowledge that you share in the process. So. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Very much. you so I, I feel so much more grounded, and, and I feel like there's a a better future ahead of me here. Because, like I said, man, these first five years of me trying to stumble and let me the groundwork and coming from such 
a corporate mentality, more structured marketing was done while they slept. You know what I mean? Come, you know, I, I just had to show up to work. And, and I, you know, and this this little engine that you're helping me build behind me is exactly a, a missing component in, in my personal growth here in, in this industry. So much love, bro. I appreciate you, man. So it's game time. Man. We're just getting started, bro. Miami, they ain't yeah. see nothing yet. No, so I want you to be able, I want to do great. I know I am. And because I want you to talk about me. Yo, I got, you know what I mean? I want to do a testimonial. I want people, I want to be able to talk um, to any of your clients and, and, um, and confirm the success. So thank Game you. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, brother.